They are called Levatics, the millions of fans of teen superstar Demi Lovato. And just this week, the Camp Rock star broke the news to them that she was leaving her hit Disney Channel show, Sunny with a Chance, to concentrate on her music. But even her most diehard fans haven't heard the entire story behind this tumultuous year until now. And nobody knew it was a story that really started in childhood. Here's Robin Roberts. She's the best friend a generation has grown up with. 18-year-old Demi Lovato is the pop princess with a winning smile. Even before Demi was officially performing in front of the camera, she knew how to strike a pose. I have a picture I'm going to show you. Oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah. When you look at this picture, what does it make you think? <sighs> That's a little girl who loves performing. I love you. The little girl from Dallas, Texas got her television start on the iconic children's show, Barney and Friends. Jimmy's natural outward confidence in front of the camera could not protect her from the inner lasting effects of childhood bullying. I literally didn't know why they were being so mean to me. And they would just say, well, you're fat. And then a few months later, I developed an eating disorder. Throughout her childhood, Demi struggled with bulimia. Her family found professional help, but Demi was keeping a secret she was cutting herself, intentionally self-mutilating her wrists. Do you remember the first time that you cut yourself? Mm -hmm. I was 11. What did you feel from it? It was a way of expressing my own shame of myself on my own body. And there were some times where my emotions were just so built up, I didn't know what to do. The only way that I could get instant gratification was through an immediate release on myself. There are a lot of people who feel, oh, you must be trying to kill yourself. Were you? I don't think that I was ever trying to kill myself, but I knew that if I had ever gone too far, that I wouldn't care. She began hiding her cuts with makeup and bracelets. While her inner turmoil grew, Demi's private struggles never stopped her, where she felt most at home, on stage. This is real, this is me. Finally, her breakthrough role at 15. We're here. She was cast as the female lead opposite the Jonas Brothers in Disney's Camp Rock and was instantly transformed into a teen sensation. Then, for the little girl who liked to strike a pose, one picture changed everything. In this red carpet photo, her visibly scarred wrists were exposed for the first time. That picture, when it came out, terrified me. The entire world saw my innermost darkest secret that my parents didn't even know. Were you even aware that they No, I had a dress there? on. When you do it, for so long you kind of just forget that it's there. And I had put makeup on it before, so I thought it was covered. That was a wake-up call, but then I just started doing it in places where no one would see it. So you become a little more... Sneaky. You become sneaky. After the photo incident, Demi assured her family and friends that everything was all right. Hi, I'm Sunny. And focused her energy on starring in her very own show, Sunny with a Chance. I'm a hugger. Soon, the wildly successful Camp Rock sequel became the number one cable movie of the year. Her album debuted at number one on Billboard. Last summer, she headlined a sold-out tour with the Jonas Brothers. Even more, she was dating teen heartthrob Joe Jonas. Demi's six million Facebook fans followed every move. Her life appeared perfect, but Demi's inner demons raged on. Her cutting intensified. My mom was terrified of walking into my room in the morning sometimes because she didn't know what she would find because it had become that serious. During the tour, 
Her relationship with Joe Jonas ended, but the love duets they had to perform did not. Then, a turning point. Years of self-abuse could not be ignored. I was performing concerts on an empty stomach. I was losing my voice from purging, and I literally was so emotionally whacked out that I took it out on someone that meant a lot to me. Demi physically struck one of her dancers, Alex Welch. The resulting bruises can be seen in this photo from TMZ. I take 100% full responsibility. The second I kind of came out of my mania and realized what I had done, I felt sick. Demi's family and management team held an intervention. They sat me down and said, you can't live like this. Like, you need to get help. And that's exactly what I did. She quit the tour and went to Timberline Knowles, a residential treatment center for women battling addictions. There, she would receive a shocking new diagnosis. Demi was bipolar, something she's never spoken about on camera until this interview. I had no idea that I was even bipolar until I went into treatment. When I was seven years old, I started having actually suicidal thoughts. Looking back, I'm like, okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> like, I was bipolar. <laughs> I was actually manic a lot of the times that I would take on workloads. And I would say, yes, I can do this, I can do this. But then I would come crashing down, and I would be more depressed than ever. Now, after three months of intense therapy, a new start. For the first time in my life, I started to feel. It was such a humbling experience to not just push your feelings aside and ignore them. I'm thankful now that I'm, I'm feeling, you know. I have to believe in myself. Feeling and doing well. The cuts on her wrist have healed, and healing words now cover them. Her new tattoo, a mantra, stay strong. The message is for me. It says, stay strong. Not and you only. have it written so you can Yes, so that it. I can see it. Yeah. So every day, no matter if I'm putting on my shoes or putting on my makeup, I see it every day to stay strong. No more hiding who I want to be. This is me. Demi Lovato is currently working on her third album for Hollywood Records, which is owned by Disney, our parent company. We'll be right back.